Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashun, Yahweh Shai, Bahashun, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. I want to come uh, you know, back at y'all with another lesson. And uh, Lord willing to be edifying. But as you can see on the screen, it says uh, as the title, the brothers in Hawaii, the two brothers out there in Hawaii. And uh, well, this the page right here, the page I'm on GMS Get This Work. It's the brother... Um, from the uh, LA camp, you know, and uh, he just re reposted this clip from the brothers camp in Hawaii. But as you see from the title, it says rapper David Banner gets marked, man. And uh, that's what I want to touch on this lesson because uh, David Banner just don't know he fulfilled prophecy by turning his shoulders to the brothers, man. You know, he passed. And then it's beautiful, as you can see from the little still. And I'm going to go ahead and play the video, too. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to just get some scriptures. Shouldn't be nothing long. You know, shouldn't be not long, but uh, as you can see, he walked by the brother's camp and the brother, uh, the brother Yahweh, the, uh, that's uh, the brother in, uh, you see with the uh, orange bandana, you know, um, he he realized them, he noticed them, and David Banner got a mask on and a hat, and the brother still noticed them, man. That's how he knows the spirit of the Lord, but he asked them, um, and I hope, like I said, I'm going to play the video so y'all can say I'm going to do too much talking, we'll get into a couple scriptures, but. Um, he passed, you know, and um, he asked him, do you know you're Israelite? And he said something like that. But he was like, look, I got to go. I got to go. Like, nigga, you, you ain't got nowhere to go that's more important than hearing the word of the Lord, man. He forsaken his own mercy at the end of the day. He turned his shoulders from the prophets. You see, mercy was extended unto him. Hey, look at the brother hand. He extended his mercy unto him, man. As we will get in the scriptures, the Lord said, when I extended my hand unto you, how he doing that through his prophets? Israel shunned the word, but they're going to have to pay for that, man. Then he tried to pass by like he was on his phone, you know, and once he got down the street, he dropped his arm, dropped his arm, telling you he wasn't on no phone call, man. In other words, he was trying to cover his ear. The way that goes into the scripture, maybe we'll get into the scripture. That goes into the scripture as well. Israel turned their shoulder, covered their ear, where he used his phone to cover his ear, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and play it, man. You know, Lord willing, uh, this lesson be edifying. Here we go. What's up, nigga? You want to move there because you want to be like Esau Edom. And you're going to be you're going to be conquered and destroyed. Just like Esau Edom. What's up, David Bennett? Hey, you know, hey, you know you are uh, like, right? And if you look, when he when he passed all on the phone, we play it back back for y'all. He acted like he was on the phone talking to somebody. Then he dropped his hand, you know. <laughs> Tell you who on the phone. I'll be doing that shit to them eat mice at my job, man. You know, when it's time for the break, you know, take our little break at 12. I'll be walking downstairs and I know they go be asked or uh, wanna ask me to go to lunch and shit with them. I act like I'm on my phone. <laughs> You feel me talking to somebody when I really ain't on my phone, man. Well, that's exactly what he did, but he did it to the wrong people. You did it to the servants of the Lord, man. You did it to the salvation of your soul, man. You see? But all the two-thirds, David Banner just was an example of the two-thirds, man. When his word is being sent out, they despised it. Let me play it you again. You want to move there because you want to be like Esau Edom. And you're going to be you're gonna be conquered and destroyed. Just like you saw him. What's up, David Banner? Hey, look, look, he got a mask on and a hat. The brother noticed him that quick. I tell you, that was the Lord, man. The Lord wanted wanted him to be marked, man. Right? You had the opportunity to listen. Like you saw Edom. And you're gonna be you're gonna be conquered and destroyed. Just like you saw Edom. What's up, David Banner? Hey, you know, look, 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 he acting like you on the phone. He ain't talking to nobody. It's just on a lock screen. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, 
And look, he said something like that. The brother said, you know you're Israelite, right? He said something like that. Well, look, it ain't gonna better be something like that when the Lord come, man. Either you know you're Israelite, you're gonna get down with the Lord program, or you're gonna have to be destroyed, man. It ain't gonna be no something like that or in between. I think I know, no. You're gonna have to know. You're gonna have to know this truth in that day, man. That ain't gonna be no excuse. You know? Let me play it one more time and we'll hop into the scriptures, not just, you know, have it looping or whatever while we uh, like get the scriptures. And you're gonna be you're gonna be conquered and destroyed. Just like you saw Edom. What's up, David Bennett? Hey, you know, hey, you know you are uh, you like, right? Look. He's he still got his hand up, right? Watch he drop his. <laughs> Look, he just dropped it. Watch you. Look, look, he walked across the street. Both of his hands down. I'm telling you, he wasn't really on no phone, man. Look, both of his arms swinging. You see? Straight up, let's get into these scriptures, man. I had these brothers' uh, video still playing. But let's get into the scriptures. All right? Well, I'm going to pull it up on him. I'm going to pull it up on him and pause it. But let me get this, because now David Banner had no excuse. The word was sent unto him. He heard the word, but now he had no excuse. That was his opportunity to 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 uh, receive the mercy of the Lord, man. His opportunity to uh, come back to who he is and repent. But you know, most of these celebrities, that's why the Lord said uh, he have not called um, many of the noble and rich of this world, man. But the lowly and despised. But let me snag this real quick. This is this the Lord Jehovah Shah speaking. This is John fifteen and. I'm going to start at 22. John 15 and 22, it says, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin, man. All right? So the Lord is saying, look, if I didn't come to you, you wouldn't have had sin. You, In other words, you would have had an excuse to use because you didn't know you was doing wrong. Right? You didn't know that you were supposed to repent. You didn't know the right ways. Right. So he said, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. It says, but now they have no cloak for their sin. So now that the Lord said he did come speak to you, now you don't have no excuse because he told you the rooms. He told you, David Banner, for example, who you are as a person, man. And from now, you're supposed to inquire more, just like us, like the church of Berea. You know, um, in the scriptures, it says what? They searched the scriptures to see whether they were true. Once we heard the word, we searched and went found out for ourselves. In other words, we went seek out Sophia, this truth, man. We sought for the Lord. But now, right, says the prophets, just like Yahweh spoke to him, the, the disciples turned apostles spoke to Israel. And just like the prophet sent out today, us, Lord willing, we are speaking unto our people. So now it says they have no cloak for their sin. When you go into this word cloak, Right, is uh one of the words is excuse. You see? Uh let me see. I know my scriptures is is uh excuse. Right? Uh let's see. All right, now, let me see what this means. All right, it's all good. But in my scriptures, the side note, matter of fact, look, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to another uh Another translation, just to show you that it's talking about excuse. Now you have no excuse. So this is from the NIV. It says in John 15 and 22, if I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Just like David Banner, he walked past the prophets. In other words, he forsook. Let me get that in Jonah. He forsook his own mercy, man. This is Jonah 2. This is Jonah 2. And eight, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy, man. And he didn't want to hear the truth, right? So he already consumed in this world, which is full of lies and and things that's contrary to the law. So he forsaken his own mercy when the Lord had his hand extended unto him by way of the prophets. Because the Lord ain't going to come, the Most High ain't going to come from the sky himself and reach his hand out in the earth while you walk in the streets of America and reach his hand to you personally and talk to you. No, man, he doing it by men on earth, man. The prophets are sent out to you. And these are the men who you're supposed to hearken to. These are the men who the Lord sent 
uh, as as shepherds to feed the sheep of Israel, man, to give that correction, right? This is Proverbs 1 and 20 to prove that. It says, wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. Now, is this talking about a literal being or some type of, you know, creation that's named wisdom and screaming and crying in the streets? No, man, that's talking about the prophets sent out on the highways and hedges. Let me get a quick uh, precept to show you how the Lord speak, man. It's Hosea 12 and 10. All right, Hosea 12 and 10, it says, it's the Lord speaking. He said, I have also spoken by the prophets. So that's how the Most High speak, by his prophets. And what you see on the, on the streets, the prophets, man, that's how wisdom is speaking. So it says, I have also spoken by the prophets. I have multiplied visions and used similar tools by the ministry of the prophets, man. So that's the wisdom that's speaking, the prophets. Going back to this, when you see those camps, on the highways and hedges, like you just seen right here. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's split screen that thing. Right? Split screen. Had a bunch of video play back. But, uh, right, you know, but you see these brothers on the highways and hedges, just like you see all on YouTube. That's wisdom speaking. That's mercy speaking out to you. So it says, wisdom cry without. She utter her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse. Look at these brothers, chief place of concourse, the marketplace, man. Well, you have a lot of traffic of people, and that's why this brother always sees celebrities, man. Marshawn Lynch, you know, Takashi 6 9 And then after, he see them eventually they get judged. After them, Takashi 6 9 seen these brothers, that's when all that shit started happening with him. His old lady, baby mama started getting ran through by his manager, and niggas threatening his life, trying to kill him, go to jail. And now he labeled as a snitch. So, hey, ain't no telling what's going to happen to David Banner, man. Right? Because it says, and how she cried in the chief place of concourse and the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered her words saying, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And you scorn us delight in scorning and fools hate knowledge. David Banner, but he's supposed to be a woke. He's supposed to be a black activist. You know, he, he's supposed to be one of those highly spiritual Israelites. Well, not Israelites, but niggas. Right. But what happened to the brothers trying to discourse about, you know, the, the most high and who you are as a people, but you don't want to talk. Let's look at some, let's look, let's look them up real quick. David Banner. Right. You know, he's so spiritual now nah, to look, look, look. Come on, man. <laughs> you see, he's so woke now nah, and, you know, tapped into his spiritual being and look. Come on, man. But the brother trying to talk to you about some true knowledge, and you say, I got to go. Ain't nothing more important than hearing the word of the Lord. It was no word that, that you was going to go that was so important, man. You see, ain't no word that you was going to go that was so important for the Lord. What, what in America can be more important than receiving salvation by way of the word, man? Nothing. So it says, and fool hate, fools hate knowledge. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and make known my words unto you. Listen to this. Because I have called and ye refuse. Hold on. It says I stretched out my hand. That's a perfect time because look what the brother doing. He's stretching out his hand to David Banner. That's how the Most High is stretching out his hand, man. The, the Most High, Yahweh ain't going to do it himself. Literally stretch out his hand and he touching you. Tapping you on your shoulder talking about David. You know, David Banner. No, man. The brother called you out. The brother stretching out his hand. This is the same wisdom that's crowned out in the street. And what he had to say? What he had to say when the Most High stretched out his hand toward David Banner? And you're gonna be, you're gonna be conquered and destroyed, just like you saw him. What's up, David Banner? You're gonna be conquered and destroyed. He said, "Gotta go." The brother stretched out his hand. He said, "Gotta go." So the scripture says, "Because I have called and ye refuse." I have stretched out my hand and no man regard of, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. He didn't want to hear the words. He didn't want to hear what these brothers had to say, man, when it was life saving to him, man. But he said at naught the most high counsel and with none of his reproof. So the most high got to say, I will also laugh at your calamity like the brother doing right here. They laughing because the brother going to say he going to eventually get destroyed. He 
see that he gonna be destroyed. The brothers laughing at that. So the laws and the, they, they the Lord laughing through these men. It says, and I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish come upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, man. He is going to come a time when all hell breaking loose. His money don't matter in that day. His fame and Instagram and next album ain't going to matter in that day. You're going to be looking for help from the Lord and you're going to be wishing you could run into these brothers, man. You're going to be wishing you could get those comforting words again, man. But you ain't going to have it. It says, for they that hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord, they were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof, man. Therefore, shall they eat of their own way and be filled with their own devices, man. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And that's what he did. He turned away. Look, the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them, man. I got it. You ain't got to go nowhere. You ain't got to go nowhere. Let me get this. Because this is what he did. He turned that shoulder away, man. But hey, though, and he talking about the buddy said, you know, your Israelite, like, right? He said something like that. Well, look. You something like that, that means you, you heard it. So now it ain't no excuse. But let me get this. This is Zechariah 7 and 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder. <laughs> Let's go back to Mr. David Banner, man. What he did, they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder. Look, look, I got to go. I got to go. Pulling away the shoulder, it says what? Pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears. How he stopped his ears? Put his phone up, look. Acting like he on the phone, he's stopping his ears. Like that's gonna matter. Like your phone will come between you meeting the prophets. Well, I ain't, for example, him talking about, well, I ain't here, so I ain't, I ain't know. You know, he trying to tell the Lord in that day, well, Lord, I couldn't really hear him because I was on the phone, so I ain't know. You could have hung that phone up and called who you had to call back. But I don't even believe he was on the phone because when he got by the street, they nigga put his arm down. You know? Then the brother started speaking. He, come on, man. And then the brother started speaking. He go try to start talking. What? Right. Look, look, I gotta go. I'm on the phone. Nigga, hey, I gotta go. I'm on the phone. Well, look, when you call the Lord, the Lord will say, I gotta go. I'm on the phone. <laughs> you feel me? And the day of destruction, the man. Man. Hey, you gotta go. I'm on the phone. Hey, you gotta go. I'm on the phone. Hey, you gotta go. I'm on the phone. Like, whatever words he hearing on the phone from whoever, another nigga that's going to get destroyed, like, that's more important than the words of the Lord. So the Lord said, verse 11, because they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear, yet they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the high of hosts have sent in his spirit by the former prophets. So the Most High sent in his words by the prophets, man. So this was the Lord speak, the Most High power, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. This was them in the heavens speaking to David Banner on earth, just like it is every day we go out. Even on YouTube, when you come across a video, that's the Most High and his son, Yahweh Shai, speaking to you, man. Just because you see it on the man page, well, look, that man is a prophet of the Lord, man. You know, you see, that's how the Most High speak. And it says, which the words... That the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from your high of hosts. Therefore it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear. Right. And this is how the Most High crying out. By men on the highways and hedges. Men on YouTube. So as the Most High crying out to his people to repent. It says they would not hear. So they cried. So when destruction come. Jacob's trouble. Two thirds going to start crying out for the Lord. But he said what? And I would not hear. Say of Yahweh of hosts, because the Lord crying now, you don't want to heal. So when you need help in the worst time ever known to mankind, a sit time of situation and much death, you're going to cry out to the Lord for help. But he ain't going to hear you. One, you ain't going to know his name. David Banner, Banner could have got the name of the Lord right here, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. But in that day, they go going to still know Jesus and God and Jehovah. You see, the Lord ain't going to hear, even if you do got the name. The Lord ain't just going to help you just because when you turn... Um, you're back to him when everything was good, though, man. I ended off with this. This is second Edgers. I, I play it back. This is second Edgers. Nine. 
That would just be too long. Probably already. Second Edges 9, I'll get straight to the point. It says, verse Second Edges 9 and 9, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. And this was coming to two-thirds, all the two-thirds who like David Banner. When you heard the word, you see, you didn't take heed to it, man. You didn't believe you didn't want to hear it because it came from men on the highways who you thought you was better than. Right? So it says, for such as in their life, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Money, you get money, you got land. <laughs> you feel me? Right? Like how was shy, he talked about, he called his servants once, said, Lord, I can't come. I got to go tend to my oxen. I just bought out. I, I just bought land, tend to my land. Well, David Ben told me, I got I this phone call. You see, he received benefits. He got fame in this world, a status. So it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty. And right now is the time of liberty, man. Right now is the time of grace for us to repent and come back to the Most High that he might have mercy on us. But at these people, the two-thirds time of liberty, it says, while they had liberty, as when a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain so david banner you know lest he repent just like the two-thirds right he gonna have to feel that pain man you see but with that lord will this lesson was edifying man i want to give all praise and glory to yahweh by shim yahweh shah by shur hakodash the bottom of the apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings to all you watching about that pushing his word with our truth and sincerity with that shalom